Hello everyone, it is Arbor Burst and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. Today you guys are back again for another episode of the Boom Beach base reviews. In these videos, you guys get your bases featured and all you need to do to be entered for the next video, which will be coming later this week, uh, go to the comments of this video, I have a template set up there, uh, copy paste the entire template and fill in the information I'm asking for. And while you're there, if you can do me a huge favor, please like the video, it really helps supporting the series. So that being said, let's just jump straight into the first base of today all right so we have arrived at Rantala Ionat I'm not sure if I butchered the name of this task force if I'm dead I am sorry but we're, we're actually looking at the base of XD XD uh, the top dog of this task force with 426 victory points and level 44 is an officer in this task force let's see what this base is all about and give it a little review so to speak headquarters level 16 so that means you have unlocked the shock launcher but I am not seeing it quite yet talk a little bit more about that later uh, when it comes down to advice uh, first off let's take a look at the essentials a sculptor level five obviously it can go to level six i kind of have the feeling that you just barely uh, got yourself up to headquarters level 15 so 16 so congratulations on that uh, armory level 13 uh, radar level 13 as well where is your vault can we find it somewhere the vault the vault the vault uh, oh over here Level 15, I really like how your vault is nicely upgraded. Uh, it saves you a lot of resources that you're going to be losing. So, uh, thumbs up for that. Now, let's take a look at the gunboat. Level 16, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, landing crafts are level 14. That is great if you're using heavy zookas. That's definitely recommended. Uh, if you were using warriors, level 14 is also the way to go. So, definitely keep it up there. Just focus on your base a little bit more rather than your, uh, than your landing crafts. Because they're in a very nice place right now. And then, the only thing that... I'm seeing our offensive statues. Let's go over the masterpieces 19, 26, and a 39. That's not even too bad. Your Guardian for Gunboat Energy and your troop damage is actually also pretty good. So in overall, when it comes down to statues, offensively, you're doing really great. Your armory requires some work, but uh, you're still keeping up to level here, so that's pretty cool. Now, as I already mentioned just now, uh, definitely deploy your Shock Launch. It's going to help you out tremendously. Not going to be losing out on anything if you deploy that one. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, what I really like is the, uh, the positioning of the Rocket Launchers. Very nicely centered. Centralized. It is picking up all of the units that are going to be attacking your base very early on into the base defense. So that's a really great thing. Uh, also, the boom cannons are very nicely put behind that. You might even can put these rocket launchers a little bit more in the back on the location where these uh, boom cannons are. But they are actually in a very nice place place where they are right now uh, be a little bit careful because one shock bomb can actually get all the both of them so you maybe want to be doing something with that to switch that around but other than that i like what you got on going there definitely keep that in the very centralized spot then the frontal offense is also very nicely done um one thing that I'm missing is despite the fact that you have the, the cannon backing up the sniper tower over here, I'm kind of missing something on these two sniper towers. So that's why I would say uh, maybe place the boom cans a little bit more into the front. But then again, you don't want to weaken your headquarters defense. So maybe you want to be figuring out something to do about that. Uh, one really great way to actually get around to defending your base is obviously the mines. And in this particular scenario, I would make it that the boom mines already get introduced a little bit earlier. So maybe around this machine gun uh, for instance or maybe this one over here and then they already would do a significant amount of damage that could potentially be the difference between losing or winning uh, other than that um, I would say the flamethrowers are in a nice position right there this cannon over here seems worthless so maybe you want to be placing this cannon uh, over where this mortar is so that way it gives a nice little backup to the sniper towers and the mortar will be doing more work around the headquarter as far as I'm concerned the mines otherwise are in a very nice condition so XDXD you got a really great base on going I definitely like what I'm seeing obviously you just upgraded to headquarters level 60 so maybe oh maybe what you want to be doing is placing the shock launcher right on this position 
over here at the headquarters and I think you will be good to go. Only defensive statues are missing, but I really like what I'm seeing. Let's move on to the next base. Okay, so the next base we're going to be reviewing is in the task force called Indian Force. They're actually looking for a member. If you're speaking Indian, then maybe join into their task force. They seem like nice people. And they can actually speak English over there because the notification actually uh, talks in English. So that is a great thing, right? Now, the person we're looking for is actually the top dog. His name is Square, dollar sign, dollar sign, Square, dollar sign, dollar sign, exclamation mark, Pi, and uh, his name's actually Assassin, if you were wondering about that, but let's actually go ahead and see what he has to offer, he's level 52 with almost 800 victory points, curious to know what his base is all about and what we can expect when we're viewing this base, so, starting off, headquarters level 20, fairly obviously around this level you should be at quarters level 20 otherwise you're a little bit behind uh, you see both shock launches over here both of them maxed out very nice job there the vault is also maxed out the uh, maxed out the armor is also maxed out you have a radar over here which is maxed out you have two prototype defenses that means you have a level 5 weapon lab that is a really great thing because uh, they're gonna be doing a whole lot of difference uh, when it comes down to defending um, on your base and other than that, Sculptor are obviously statues first. Uh, Guardians are left 14 and 15 percent. 50 percent resource war, that's what I had before, and it doesn't even have that bad. So definitely keep that if you still need the resources to upgrade stuff. You have a 69 percent power stone chance, that's pretty sexy. Uh, 30 percent troop damage, and then a 42 percent gunboat masterpiece. Good on you, that is the maximum you can get. And then also some defensive statues, I uh, spot them in the back here. 11% 36 whoa that is actually quite a bit so your statue is actually pretty cool and I cannot spot the oh wait one over here 32% troop troop health uh, that's actually pretty cool do you have another I cannot find it but it's probably good or something I don't know can I yeah over here so it's like a, a 30 ish a little bit more than 30% true uh, building de damage so that's a good statue for sure from the looks of it, everything is maxed out considering landing craft, so I'm not really too concerned with that. Uh, what I really like about your base assessing in particular is that you got a nice combination, a healthy combination of offense and defense ongoing. And you're still pretty high up there in victory points. I mean, 800 is pretty hard to get. L let's be fair here. It actually does require you some time to invest into attacking. You need to be active. You're getting attacked a whole lot more than on 700 or 600 victory points. So I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, as far as your base go, let's actually review this one right now. So you have a shock launch here, a little bit more to the left side, which isn't too much of a problem because at the right side you actually have a shock blaster, which is both covering a wide range of the map. Then on top of that, you also have some time, uh, something a little bit more anti-warrior, that is a shock launcher over here. So those are on very nice positions for sure. Rocket launchers are also in really great positions for sure. And then we have the, the boom cannons. Now, I do understand where you went with this boom cannon. Because it's obviously in a very nice position. Especially when it's backed up by this by this doom cannon. Maybe you want to be swapping this doom cannon uh, somewhere with this iron storage or something like that. So that way it's hugging the wall at the left side a little bit more. Cause a little bit more of a threat. And that way the other boom cannons can do a little bit more of work. Because, let's face it, this shock blaster is... Pretty much as annoying to deal with if you're using a heavy force like tanks and medics or heavy Zooka uh, like the Doom Cannon is. So uh, I would definitely still do something with that. Uh, specialize each side in, 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 in something. So that way um, gonna be scaring off the opponents. Also uh, what I like are these cannons at the side here. You have a nice little boom mine here and a boom mine there. So that's obviously going to be doing some stuff there. Um, what I'm missing is because there are some distractive buildings over here like a sculptor or a machine gun. There are some force a little bit missing at the left side. You do have a rocket launcher there. So that might be uh, backing that one up. But maybe a mortar over here at the side would be a nice thing. Or maybe even a flamethrower. I mean you got two over here at the front. And the front is already scary. I mean take a look at this. You have these cannons over here. You got all of these mines. You got two rocket launchers. You got a shock blaster. Chances are only with warriors people are going to be attacking your base. So I would focus a little bit more on the left side honestly. Uh, other than that, 
Taking down this base is relatively easily if people have a lot of gunboat energy with the warrior attack strategy. All they need to do is go to the radar, from the radar go to the sniper tower, walk diagonally over here. And there's only a couple of mines really stopping them. So maybe you want to be considering putting a little bit more of the mines at the left side. So that way the left side is protected a little bit more. But also diagonally, diagonally whenever the warriors are walking a little bit stranger than usual. Other than that the base really looks kind of good. Obviously, a couple of defenses should be upgraded, but you'll be there in no time at all. And yeah, your base seems very solid to me. Let's move on to the final base of this episode. Okay, Suomi, we're going straight to Finland because Suomi is the Finnish word of Finland or, or the Finnish language. Or I'm not really sure. It has, something to do, it has something to do with Finland. That's the only thing that I know. And the person we're looking for is Perunamis33. Over here, level 39 right now, he's an officer in this task force with 265 victory points. Uh, seems a little bit on the lower side, but we'll just have to see about that, how his base is going around. First and foremost, where's your headquarter? Okay, well, I don't know what happened here, but it seems that you are maybe rearranging your base or something like that. Uh, so, you know, until you fix your base, I really cannot give you a good review because obviously this base will always be taken down and that on itself is already not recommended. I honestly wouldn't say uh, put your headquarters around the uh, around the shore because that's not going to help you out in the game whatsoever. As a matter of fact, from what I know, uh, in the list, Supercell is working currently on a feature to reward people with a lot of victory points. So maybe you want to be considering uh, placing your headquarters actually inside of a base rather than having it on the edge just like that because people are going to be looking for it and they're going to be like oh it's over here it's a free headquarter so they're not going to be losing any casualties and you're not going to be getting any diamonds whatsoever at least make it an effort so that way people lose some diamonds here because otherwise this statue is totally in vain and that that will be a waste anyway that being said, let's take a look at the rest. We have an armory level 12. We have the ray level 13, sculptors level 5, vaults level 13. Kind of feel that those could be upgraded. E maybe you've just upgraded to headquarters level 16. Got no idea about that, but they're a little bit under leveled from what I notice. Then over here, 14, 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12, 12, 6. Definitely upgrade to level 6. The rest of level 12 is okay. You can actually do it with level 12. Uh, but maybe consider getting them up to level 14. Just in case you're actually using the warrior attack strategy as well. Uh, as far as the base goes. I don't really have a lot to say. I mean make a base. That's my main advice on this. This already is not going to be working. Place your mines inside of your base. If I can give you some pointers. Um. Make frontal offense, you can put some buildings to the side there to distract people to make a wall of some sorts. But make sure you have some uh, sniper towers and some cannons in the front there to backing each other up. You want to be making sure that your rocket launcher has a lot of range, just like these two have right now. But a little bit more centralized in your base. Boom cannon should be a support unit, but also a standalone unit. If it makes any sense, because it's so powerful. But because it's so powerful, it is an immediate threat as well. Uh, deploy a shock launcher, I'm not seeing it, and also I'm not seeing a weapon lab either. So those are some considerations you can make on your base. Uh, from what I can tell, headquarters level 16 and level 39 is actually pretty impressive. You went there fairly early on. So all I can say is, yeah, you know what to do. I hope this base review helped you out, and that's gonna be doing it for this... Uh, Boom Beach base review. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. And as always, make sure to let me know in the comments if you want a base review by filling in the template uh, setup down there. So that's going to be doing it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's really great to be coming back. That being said, as always, make sure that if you guys like this video to BOOM! Give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.